Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just thought today I'd show you a little bit of a glimpse into the, the past, the old days, when we used to um, shoot video on VHS and Super VHS. Uh, the last few days or the last few weeks I've been attempting to sell some of my Super VHS equipment and then almost getting to a point of sale and then decided, no, I don't want to do, go down that track. So I've still got this stuff here. Um, so what I'm talking about is my Panasonic Super VHS video camera, which I'll put a link underneath. I've done a video about that before underneath. But uh, to, to use those cameras and to do weddings like my youngest son did years ago using this particular camera, the, the Panasonic Super VHS camera, uh, you need a, a tape deck and I had two tape decks they were Panasonic tape decks professional or semi-professional super VHS uh, linear tape decks linear or non-linear I'm not sure what you call it these days but anyway you had to do it the long way and my son mastered that he did a few weddings when he first started out he now works in the film industry on the on the big Hollywood movies doing special effects and things like that and he started off with this sort of gear so I put a link underneath to the Super VHS camera that I've talked about before, but I'm just going to show a little bit of video and um, some still shots of, of both the camera and the Super VHS um, tape deck, uh, which I was going through, having a look at the other day just to make sure it still works. So I hope you enjoy this. It's just a glimpse back into our not so far away, no long ago past where we were still playing around with VHS, a lot less quality. Super VHS was better than VHS in that it had over, uh, ordinary VHS had what they called 300 lines of re resolution and I think the Super VHS was something like 450 lines of resolution. So anyway, enjoy, like if you like, subscribe if you wish, stay till the end and see a few still photos as well. So I'll catch you next time. See ya. Okay, so here we have some shots. That's the machine. I've got it hooked up to a monitor up there or a um, TV that it's playing through. These are taken long ago. These are only VHS quality and this is daylight so you can't get any idea of quality. A little bit though, it's not too bad. The colour's not bad there. This is a close-up of the actual machine and uh, you can see it's running through there. Lots of controls on these, these tape decks and we had two of them and you copied from one to the other and did the editing. And the problem with uh, dubbing VHS and Super VHS in those days, you had to do the original the original um, uh, uh, version of the, the shoot you're doing, then you'd had to, to do some editing and then copy out the edited version. So, so you're getting, what the customer was finally getting was about a second generation uh, reproduction, which wasn't as great as what you got on the first one uh, as your master copy. So but lots of controls, fantastic equipment, and um, I never mastered the whole thing. I used to use it as just an ordinary VHS player, but my son certainly learned how to do editing on all that sort of stuff on there, and he used to do it quite well. Did a, probably eight or ten weddings, maybe not quite that many altogether, and we've still got them here, and they'll play through this machine. The original Super VHS uh, tapes will play through this machine. That's just showing the back. So, And then you know, you'll see a few shots just um, of the actual camera uh, in a minute uh, which I've still got and which I might sell one day it needs some repair at the moment we're going to put a link underneath to this to show you the review I did of this camera uh, on my YouTube channel earlier so it's all still bundled up there I've got two brand new batteries that go with it but it needs a new belt in it and I bought a replacement belt but I haven't put it in yet or found someone to put it in and I'm hoping that that will fix it up because everything turns on all right but it just um, the belt I think had had um, frayed and, and uh, perished and, and had snapped so so there you go it's the super VHS machine and uh, the camera and the tape deck and uh, these were fantastic these were state-of-the-art the cameras were about two thousand dollars each and so were the tape decks about two thousand dollars each I ended up all together having about four of those super VHS cameras at different times and uh, had two going at once at one stage um, only got the one now, sold the others, and bought the others second hand. I bought one brand new, uh, which was this one, I think, but the other ones I had, I bought them second hand. So there you go. Um, I hope you've found this interesting, and uh, 
just keep watching. Let me know what you think if you had some experience with these things in the past. And uh, I'll see you next time.